Hey everybody, welcome back. It is finally time to do my Vinyl Me Please unboxing video. I had to wait a couple days because I didn't get a chance to do all this. Um, as you can see, I got this really big box. Um, I was able to like refer five of you this month. And because of that, we both got free records. So I got five free records in here. I got my record of the month, which I'm super anxious to listen to. And then I even bought a record, which I'm just, I'm so excited to even like look at it. Um, you'll see what it is in a second. So um, there's a lot of vinyl in here. Uh, let's see, I think it said it was like eight pounds. <laughs> so it usually comes in like a really nice, thin, sturdy um, mailer, I guess. But um, they went for a box. And I think this box was used, yeah, for the Jay Dilla records that they received. So it's kind of cool to actually have that in here, and uh, it's been hot. So it even says, you know, keep away from heat and everything. So I guess they took good care of it and everything. Um, so anyways, I'm going to unbox this for you. If you guys are interested in getting free vinyl, send me your email and a message or a comment. I'll refer you. And then when you sign up, you'll get a box, you know, next month or whatever, and you'll get a free record, and I'll get a free record. So... I mean, free five records, that's the most I've ever had at one time. So anyways, without further ado, let's get, things, let's get this thing open. I have my trusty X-Acto knife. Um, okay, oops. They taped it up pretty well too. Alright. And so, let's crack it open. I don't know what's going to be on top or whatever, but got some packaging. Put that out to the side. Alright, so I guess they put the record of the month on top. If I can get it out. There we go. Oh my gosh. Alright, so <laughs> comes in packaged like this. Um, Alright, okay, so the artist is Blessed Feathers. Title, There Will Be No Sad Tomorrow. And this is the October edition. Here is the record. It's an exclusive pressing. Well, let me get this out of the way. Exclusive pressing to vinyl me, please. And then here's the back. Wow. That looks cool. It's a little message in the back here. So I'm going to show you what that record looks like in a second. Uh, along with it, as always, comes the cocktail pairing. And the print, which is, oh, <laughs> which is amazing. Look at that. Oh, I love it. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. Well, it's going to look great like that Taurus one back there. Uh, I've been trying to showcase them every video so you guys get to, get to see what they're all about. So there's that. And then the artist, his name is Nate, Nate Duvall. So that's the artist's name. As always, some awesome words by Tyler, uh, who is, um, I guess, one of the owners. I think there's two of Vinyl Me Please. And then here is the cocktail pairing um, that matches up with your drink. This is the There Will Be No Sad Tomorrow plus Traveling Man. I'm not really that, you know, well versed when it comes to drinks and what they are, but it looks pretty good. <laughs> Got a lemon twist, some bitters in there, and some gin. Can't go wrong with that. So if you like getting drunk, you like art, and you like music like I do, um, yeah, this is awesome. So, that's the cocktail pairing and the print. Stick that over here. Alright, let me show you what this record looks like inside. Before I move on to the rest of them. Since so this, this is the one. And I haven't heard anything like from the artists. So, I'm really kind of taking a chance here. But, they haven't failed me yet. Every record has been like amazing every year. Every month, so, and I have like six or seven of them you can look at by now. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's beautiful. So, oh. Okay. Check that out. It comes with a booklet. It looks like, it looks like in the back. What the, oh man. So I'm a bit of an amateur photographer myself. 
And so, all right, sorry. Let me show you what it looks like. It's just a bunch of photos that they've taken. I'm assuming throughout the years here. Yeah, we got 2013, 2014. Every single one of them has been marked with the location and the in the year and the date in the month. That is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to look at this a lot closer in detail. I love when they do this stuff. Um, it's a duo. They're right there in the back. I don't know if you can tell, but I believe that they either are married or they're just a couple, like they're together. Oh, and it comes with a free download card. Awesome. I will definitely put that in. Let me show you what the record looks like real quick. Oh, snap. All right, so it's paper. You got the track listings. Here's the back, and then here's the front. Sort of looks like the, uh, the front of the album cover. Um, let me just pull this out for you. It comes in this beautiful purple. I, I'm, it's a purple record. I don't know colors that well, but this looks purple. <laughs> it's not translucent. And there's the other side here with the label. Oh my gosh. I don't think I own a purple record. So this is, this is exciting. All right, so. I will listen to this and I will review it in my vinyl haul video at the end of the month that you guys know what I thought. It's going to be magical, I know it. So there's the record of the month. Exclusively pressed. I think it was pressed at 150. You won't find it anywhere else, but through vinyl me please. Now I'm looking at the record that I added on and it's a doozy of a record. Hold on, there's got to be a better way to do this. It's like suctioned into the box. There we go. Alright, so this box is useless for now. And then here. Oh my god. Holy shit. Alright. Kamathi Washington, the Epic. This was only uh, released through the website of the Amazon account that they linked up to and through Vinyl Me Please. As you can see, it's like a box set. It's a three hour jazz album that they pressed onto vinyl. Not sure how they did it. But <laughs> they did it. You may have heard of Kamazi's work, um, work with his band on the uh, new Kendrick Lamar album, to pimp, a but uh, to pimp a Butterfly. Oh, I listened to bits and pieces of this album, and um, I couldn't believe it. I, I was just, I had to have this on vinyl. The band's name is The Next Step, and you got a bunch of people here. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to try to save this sticker too. This thing is really well made. It's like, wow. I've never owned a box set before. So this is my first. And there's three albums in here. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Beautifully stacked in there. Even the freaking sleeves are like heavy duty. Here's a print there. I don't know if you can read that, and then there's a lot of writing on this end. I'm not going to read it all, but that is sort of kind of like the print of your vinyl me, please. Plus this other one here. Holy shit. I love how we, I love the way that looks. It almost looks like it was screen printed. And then here's... Actually, I think it was. If I remember correctly, I think it was screen printed. And there's some more info there. Okay. So, this is volume one. Boom, right there. I think these, oh, and these are all pressed and half speed mastered. Um, I received the record from Vinyl Me Please, the Fort Ted album um, that I got last month. And basically, it just sounds better. There's just, there's so many um, sounds and different things happening. When they press at half speed, when the lathe is cutting into the lacquer, it's slow enough to where it can actually make a lot more detailed cuts into the grooves. So when they press it and you listen to it at home on a turntable, whatever, duh, um, it's going to sound amazing. It's clean, it's crisp, it's just got better quality to it. And every single one of these was pressed that way. So here's the, oh, no way. So it's classic black vinyl, pressed I think at 180 gram. Just like two songs on this, 14 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to be listening to this for a while. 
All right, so, and there's a download code for each album. So this is the first one, the plan, it's called. Volume two comes in a black outer sleeve, and I think all the inner sleeves are also black as well. And it comes with the download card as well. And this one's called The Glorious Tale. There's another picture. I think they're different on each one. Let me see. Yeah, each one is different. So this one has Kamazi on the back, just chilling in the back, or chilling with the sax, I mean. And then this one has the whole group. Oh my gosh. All right, and then this last one, oh, fuck. It comes in this awesome gold color. And it's called the Historic Repetition. And there's the back there. And then again, of course, oh, it's a little torn, but it's okay. Awesome. Black and black vinyl. I, you don't know how excited I am about this record. <laughs> I seriously cannot wait to put this on my player. I'll review it maybe in a separate video or I'll do it in the final haul video as well. But putting on amazing stuff. So here are the five records that I got for free this month. I have no idea who they are. So I'm just going to run through these and show you what they are. Uh, this first one says, says Wild Beast Present Tense. It's a heavyweight vinyl. It comes with an MP3. That's what that looks like. Get my trusty X-Acto knife. There we go. I think it's a gatefold. I love getting free records. <laughs> so thank you guys. Hope you guys got them. If you didn't, hit them up. Let them know because stuff does happen where, you know, they don't get the notification. And last month I had to, like, reach out to them. Oh, okay. So here's a gatefold. Pretty interesting looking. So there's that, and then let me show you what the record looks like. Oh wow, so here's a download card. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh wait, oh shit. Oh, another booklet, ah oh, fuck yes. So much, I love to look at this when I'm listening to the music, like most people are, usually. And then you have the inside here. Get a wide shot of that there. That looks awesome. And it comes in a really awesome polyline vine on um, paper sleeve, just regular black vinyl with a really cool looking inner uh, label. There you go. Oh my gosh! So again, I have no idea who they are, what type of music they are considered or whatever. But you will all find out very soon. I reviewed in the vinyl haul video. So Wild Beast Present Tense. The next one here. Is by John Vanderslice. Mass Suicide Occult Figures. Quality record pressings. Alright. Oh, and it comes with this really awesome tearaway plastic sleeve. So I don't have to buy one. It's an awesome thing to have. So this is what the front looks like. Check that out. And then the back here. Oh, it just got really, really dark. Sorry about that. Hopefully it lightens up. It's really weird staring at myself as I'm uh, talking. Um, cool, download card. Dude, I'm gonna have a ton of free music. Uh -oh. Polyline vinyl as well, and it's another heavyweight pressing. This feels like 180. Check that out. Get that glare out of there. Super awesome. Okay, the title is pretty interesting. Mass Suicide Occult Figurines. Figurines. So, John Vanderslice. So, we'll see what that sounds like when I get a chance to listen to it. Oh, I know who these guys are. Alright. Management. I got our management album. They're on the radio all the time. Newly remastered from the original analog tapes. Featuring kids, time to pretend, and electric feel. 2LP pressed on 180 audiophile vinyl. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I showed you the front, right? And then here's the back. There you go. And then, oh, that's trippy. So this is the outer sleeve there. That's the, I guess, the front. And then this trippy pack right here. Oh, that looks cool. You got another polyline sleeve. Feels like it's in the, there we go. And, oh, that looks so cool. Look at that Columbia label. And then the back has that sort of same feel that the outer sleeve had. Holy crap. Alright, so I'm gonna overdose on music this month. Damn, I really got a bunch of heavy records. This one is The Spirit Moves 
Longshorn Slim in the Law. Hope I'm saying that right. But there's the front. Here's the back. And it's pressed on 180. Remastered for vinyl. Free album download includes three bonus tracks. Alright. Free music on top of free music. Alright, let's see what that looks like. This sleeve feels weird. It's a fucking gatefold. Alright, so this is the gatefold. I see something hanging here. Whoa. It's just cropping. And then the download card. Alright. So let me open it up for you real quick. There's that. And it's it's like a matte cover. It doesn't have, doesn't have that glossy feel to it. Which I actually do like a lot. And then here's the album itself. This really awesome looking picture. And then of course my favorite. Oh fuck, like a montage. A bunch of black and white photos. So cool. Some uh, And they're all studio session photos. Which is my favorite. I love being able to see pictures like that. And then this heavy duty pressing. Holy shit. If I can slide it out there. There it is. There's the front. Or side B is the side A. Take a look at that. Oh my god. Last month I got a bunch of like colored vinyl. This month, a bunch of heavy duty. 80, 180 pressings. Okay, so this last vinyl, I know it's been a really long video. <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you. Um, is Jens Leakman, I know what love isn't. Limited edition limited edition colored vinyl. So I spoke too soon to colored vinyl. It's got some reviews here from the Guardian Entertainment Weekly, Pitchfork, and it includes a free download. And it's a cutout. It's like die cut, so you get to see the inside. So there's the front, and then here is the back. Oh, I wonder what color it is. I'm assuming, maybe going to guess it's brown. Maybe I can't. Time to get the trusty X-Acto knife here. There we go. Alright. And it fell, and... Almost hit my foot. Awesome. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, nice. So here's the front that you just saw. And it comes with different ones. So they're interchangeable. That is awesome. Really interesting. Oh, I think I like this one a lot. I think I like this one the best. I wonder where they shot this. This is crazy. All right, <laughs> sorry. Um, and then the back has some track listings of all. Oh, it's like yeah, it's just track listings of the songs and lyrics. So they put some interesting stuff on the back here. Just run through them real quick to show you. Really cool. And then oh, there's a dedication. This is for Maggie for being there. Oh, that's awesome. So here's the download card. Oof. There we go. Oh, it kind of looks cool just like that. It's really nice. So brown outer sleeve with the dedication to Maggie for being there. Holy crap. All right, so it's not a brown record. Holy shit. Look at this. Oh, that is beautiful. So even if I don't like the music, I think this alone is just a beautiful piece of art. Look at that. It's marbled. It's got white, yellow, some different shades of like green, bluish, bling blue, turquoise, I guess. Turquoise. Man, I'm having a hard time talking. All right. So what a way to end the video. Damn, that's awesome. Okay, so that's all the records for this vinyl haul. Um, for Vinyl Me Please, should I say. Yeah, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I um, hope you enjoyed my haul and <laughs> watching me unbox it and nerd out. Um, subscribe, like, thank you again, and I'll see you guys soon.